so what we found with Zoom is uh, using screen share, it gets a little bit better video playback and audio playback on Zoom. I'm not gonna do that right now, but in case like it sounds weird or looks weird, um, you could do a screen share. Um, one thing I did have to make sure was that um, I had a nothing basically ver routed to the camera in Zoom. So you could do that by putting the NDI video and like this virtual input, you could assign this as your Zoom webcam, but then just keep it on none. Um, and then when you do the screen share and you're using system sounds, I believe um, the setting here has to be, on the audio output has to be on default Windows playback. So sometimes I'll just leave the headphones and just have them hear it over the headphones bus um, on default Windows playback device here. So then that way that'll show up in Zoom as the um, screen share audio, um, cause it's like computer sounds. Um, so then they'll be able to hear that and it sound a little bit better um, as well as, and there's some settings to make video playback a little bit better. So I'll do a mix between that and um, the screen share. But the idea to make that work is we want a secondary monitor here. So then I can full screen this on that second monitor and just full screen program to that. And then that will be sent to Zoom as a screen share. Um, so that's a, that's a good way to get like pretty high quality out of it. Um, otherwise, um, if um, I am here, let's say I wanna just send an NDI feed here. I'll go over to the output NDI settings, turn this on. So this will show up there. Then I'm gonna go over here to the NDI virtual input and I'll pick myself. Okay, cool. So now I'm, my, my program is the output of this guy here. So now, um, so let's say we wanted to bring in Zoom as like a remote contributor. Um, if I have Zoom open here, and um, there's one setting here that we're gonna wanna make. Uh, there's actually a few and that we should go through here. So in video, um, the source will be new tech NDI. So we'll see that there, that looks great. Um, I'm gonna also go wanna go into advanced. Video rendering method, I'm gonna wanna make sure is GDI. Um, otherwise, when I try to bring in Zoom, which we normally do over a desktop capture, it won't show up unless this is GDI. Um, it'll just show up as like white or something. So let's say I'm in a meeting joining with computer audio. Right now I have the mic associated to New Tech NDI, which is fine, um, but like if it's a screen share, I'd keep it NDI, but NDI routed to nothing instead of the actual uh, camera. Um, so let's say I'm doing this here like that, but then I wanna receive audio from the other participant in the Zoom. So let's set that up in vMix. So I'm gonna set up a desktop capture here. I'm gonna grab Zoom meeting. So right now it's just myself, so that'll probably loop back on itself because I'm making an infinite loop in the Zoom right now. Um, so this is the Zoom window desktop capture, but again, that doesn't bring in audio. So what we need to do is add VB cable, which I don't know if that's on here already. Nope. So we're gonna get this app called VB cable. And this is just basically a virtual audio cable. So we'll take the Zoom audio and bring it into vMix as an input here. Oh, I want 64. Oh, I have to run in admin mode. I always forget that. Right click, run as administrator. Cool, got to restart. Um, so now normally, I probably have to restart to see it, but um, VB audio cable, oh, here it is. So. Um, speaker will want to set to cable input. So now the zoom audio will come back in. Um, I probably won't hear this because that is myself, but if there was another person here talking, um, because speaker is set to VB audio cable, all we need to do is set up the other side of the VB audio cable here. So I'll go to um, audio input. I should be able to select VB audio cable. I probably have to restart. That's why it's not showing up here. Uh, oh no, no, there it is, same deal. Um, so I'll bring that in. And then if there's another person there, I would see the audio here and then I would um, just have that audio hot to listen to. Um, but I just wanna make sure that I'm not sending the audio I'm receiving back to the guest. If I, cause you know, if I'm just playing this in master program audio and I'm sending master to NDI and to the guest, um, then that's gonna, they're gonna hear themselves on a delay. So in order to avoid that, what I'll do is I will 
make this output one, let's say, if this is just, because the right now this output one is just about feeding the zoom return feed. Um, so it'll keep it as program, but the audio here I'll make like bus A or something. And then I will put everything in there except the VB audio cable here, um, which I should label, you know, so like this guy over here in the corner, um, if that's the, that is the zoom audio, I'll just leave that out of bus A and just in master, but then send everything else that they might want to have. Like, you know, sometimes it's just a program feed cause it's like interfacing with a switcher. Um, so just take the program feed audio, make that in bus A and then keep the zoom audio in master or in another bus because they need to, cause sometimes we'll just have it in like bus B and then that be sending out a Dante input to bring into our console. Um, so I'll just keep them separated because, um, that way we don't take their audio and give it back to them on a delay. So that's pretty much how we set it up with Zoom. Um, oh yeah, if you wanted to see other outputs, you could do that here um, on the settings. That's another tidbit. So cool, I think we're done. Um, I'd keep playing around with vMix as much as possible. Um, new updates are gonna come out, new things are gonna come out. Um, so I'll just keep just keep updated with it because uh, we use it for a lot of different things. Um, and then, yeah, obviously still continue to ask me any questions, bring them up, send me any emails. Um, if we have any bugs or anything, try to document them as well. Take like videos, screen captures as well as possible. And you could send them to me. Uh, we have a direct line of communication with Martin at vMix. So if we have any bugs or anything, uh, we can make sure he looks at this and gives us like the best course of action for that, um, for the workaround for that, or if we're just doing something wrong on our side. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. Thanks everyone. I'll catch you on the next uh, training.